All right, guys, in this lesson, we're going to talk about potential difference, exactly what it is, how to solve for it, and also how to solve for an electron volt. Let's dive into it. So when we just saw that a charge can have some sort of electric field around it, and we know that an electric field always points away from a positive, okay? And that's, that's pretty self-explanatory. Now, what happens is we know that it follows the path of a positive charge, but if there happens to be an electron here, and this electron wanted to move against the electric field, then some work would have to be done. So we're, we're going to look at the work that needs to be done. So we'll look at the work done against an electric field. Okay. So now when an object moves from one point here to another, work is done. All right. And this work done against an electric field, we have a fancy name for it, and that is called potential difference. Okay, so potential difference is the work done against an electric field. And remember, for work to be done, it has to be done between two points. If we look at the formula for this, if we look at the formula for potential difference, we could say that some potential difference is going to be the work done on a charge moving through. Now, the symbol for potential difference is going to be capital V, all right, big V. The unit, and this is where things can get a little bit confusing, is little v. And this is called, a word that you've heard before, a volt. So we have to be careful that we don't confuse capital V, potential difference, with a volt. Don't confuse this word that you hear all the time, voltage, all right? Voltage means potential difference, all right? So let's look at an example of this and how we'd use it. Moving an electron with a charge of this between points A and B in an electric field requires this amount of energy, all right? Now remember, don't forget, delta energy is work. So this right here, they really gave you work. So if we look at our givens, we have a Q, which is 3.2 times 10 to the minus 19th Coulomb, all right? We we're also given W, which is 4.8 times 10 to the minus 18th joules, and we want to find big V. So big V equals W over Q. We could plug now in. 4.8 times 10 to the minus 18th joules divided by 3.2 times 10 to the minus 19th. And we'll have a voltage, which you are going to solve for right now, and tell me the answer in volts. Now, if we do work, if we show that the work done against one elementary charge, so if I look at an elementary charge, we could say that the work done against an elementary charge is V times Q. And I made that from the formula W equals work over Q. So I just made it look like that. So I want to know the work done against one elementary charge, which would be 1 volt times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs equals 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th joules. So this is the work done to get one elementary charge through one voltage of this. This is called an electron volt. So an electron volt is equal to the amount of energy to move an elementary charge through a potential difference of one volt. All right, so this is just a conversion where one EV, that's gonna be the symbol, is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th joules. So you are going to have to use this conversion to solve and change energy into electron volts. Let's take a look at that. An electron is accelerated from rest through a potential difference of 200 volts. What is the work done in electron volts? So first we need to find the work done in joules, then convert it to electron volts. Okay, so the way we'll do that is we know, how am I gonna find the work? Well, 
work equals V times Q. We were given 200 volts. We know the charge of an electron is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th Coulomb. I can solve for the work, okay? And this will be your work in joules. Now, when you come through, now that you've solved for that work in joules, and you're going to put your answer in joules here that you just got, then we will, to convert, we put joules down here, EV up here, and then we'll get some answer in EV. Now, what that allows me to do, if I put in the factor 1 EV equals 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th, I then could cross these out, and I'll get my answer in EV. Guys, I hope that gives you a little bit of background on what we're going to be talking about as far as what potential difference is. It's going to be used a lot in circuitry. When we start doing symbol and parallel circuits and also how to convert an energy joules into electron volts. I'll see you on the next one.